So hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's time for the best part of the week. The absolute best part of the week, every week, has now become the ones who live. <sighs> we're on to episode 3 already, which means I'm pretty sure we're halfway through the season. Once we finish this episode, we're going to be halfway through the season. What? The first two were just perfection. They, they were perfection in TV. As always, the link to my Patreon is in the description down below where the more extended version of this reaction is going along with a whole bunch of Patreon exclusive content. There's reactions for shows like Angel, uh, Supernatural, Gotham, I'm doing The X-Files, I'm doing True Blood, I'm doing Handmaid's Tale, live streams, films, bunch of stuff. Link to my Twitter, my Instagram, anywhere that you can find me is also in the description down below. I feel like I'm always tripping over my words in the intro. Because I'm trying to say it so fast because I want to just get out of the way and get onto the episode. Hang on, actually, I just realised that I have slightly unblended eyeshadow, which is just, it just will not do. I have got to look my best for the best couple. It's their show, I can't be turning up with unblended eyeshadow. I don't think that made it any better. Oh well. Mm, I'd know those ankles anywhere. That's my boy. That soundtrack is very Last of Us, isn't it? Also, say what you want about the CRM. It's like really bad and evil, yeah. But the glow up that my boy had since entering the CRM. Truly insane. Hi, Rick. I'm gonna save you. Oh, come on. Talk about jump scaring the poor guy. I've been a regular at this place for a month. So that whenever your orientation happened, I would be here. They don't operate in the city. They can't. Much to their annoyance. This is like more dialogue somewhere. than we had from her in the whole of the Walking Dead. To let you die on the riverbed. This place has a 500-year plan. Is okay, but how many communities have we been in that had that plan and died? It never works. Have a world. I'm going home. But I did save your life. So, I didn't ask you to save my life. Thank you, but I didn't ask. I don't owe you. There's a woman who saved me. She's in designation intake right now. She's an A. And I don't want them to send her away. That's asking a lot though, putting that amount of trust in her and trusting she won't rat up like rat him out. Oh, back to this fuckhead again. You're not killing me. I will. But not today. Maybe not tomorrow. Our fates are bound. You, Michonne, me. You are not part of this because equation, you baby. First people to ever leave and kill all of you. Maybe you should and start by killing your fucking barber. That atrocious bowl cut. This was your. I just put a little file among my possessions, telling them everything they need to know about you. We I think. Everybody I really we think dead. we should just. Keep. Hours. So have your life together here. We are the last light. Of Without the our kids, I don't think so. You two together. You can do anything. Yeah, bitch, and we know it. We could kill you dead. She, she should be afraid. She should be quaking in her boots. Her little fucking ball cut should be absolutely vibrating with fear on the top of her head. I can say that because, yes, I have an undercut, but mine is a mohawk. I've got hair at the back that goes all the way down. Don't come at me with you've got Jadis's haircut because I don't. I'm trying to make myself feel better. They can't stop us. Yeah, they're the ultimate power couple. When they're put together, they're unstoppable. The CRM doesn't know about that yet. We're gonna have to act afraid like we don't know what to do. Oh no, it's a walker. Michonne! Girl, you're supposed to be keeping a low profile! Oh, well, that's kind of sexy. That's kind of like role playing. It's kind of like, oh, you know, I'm just someone walking past you. I don't know you. She's committed to the bit. You showed us that our enemies can be our salvation. Oh, I feel like that sentence is gonna hold a lot more weight as the episodes go Some on. Some of you know what this sword means to me. Among other military antiquities being evacuated from the Museum of the American Revolution. Like, and I robbed it because I thought it looked but cool. The trunk was caught in some of the bombings by our. Rick could General not give King less Mercer's of a fuck. Sword. I was smoking in the sun when this helicopter found me. The man who changed everything for me is dead. Is she gonna have a problem now with Michonne when she finds out that Michonne was part of the reason that the helicopter General, was brought sir. down? Whoever does the costuming for this show. We have designed this armor. I'm command Sergeant Major Thor now. Take that glass off her now. She's gonna smash it off the wall in like two seconds. He told me everything. Gave me the full briefing. The echelon briefing. They're accelerating the schedule, and there's a lot that needs to be done before the commanders arrive for the opening summit. Every senior officer. He's like, I guess I could be your right hand. I mean, you. I don't have a left one. I only I'm have right. Same. But it's yours if you want it. I put the glass down softly. Oh, he's passing her little love notes. This is it. Good night. We gotta move 
fast. He thinks we're gonna escape tonight? Babe, you are far too optimistic. There's a red canoe in the brush. I love you. He takes Babe, every chance that he has something. to say I love you. He left her her katana back. Oh my God, I am like, I can feel the emotion in my ribs. The way his heart is glowing red right there, this one mine feels like every time he's on screen. He drew her a little map and was like, there's a bit of a red canoe down inside the bushes. Come meet me. What if she couldn't follow the map? It's not particularly well done. Don't you dare stop here at this turnstile. Keep going. She better walk that beautiful ass up that tunnel and towards her guy or I swear to... Oh my God. Oh, fantastic. Now we have a walker dispenser. She doesn't give a shit. She's walking. Slow walk towards her man because she cannot risk breaking out into a sweat. I understand. Maybe she's put on some fresh deodorant and her makeup is freshly done. Speed walk, but not run. We've all been there. Okay, so where is he? Is he balls naked swimming in the lake? Where did he go? He was just here. Is he trying to trick her? Is he going to pop out the bushes? Pop goes the Grimes boy. If you love me, you'll go. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't go. I'd be like, well, then I guess I just don't love you. Oops, sorry. I don't love you enough and I have to come back and try and drag you out by the fucking curls out of this fucking hellscape. She's not going to actually go, though. She's going to turn up to fucking breakfast and stare him down from across the table. I think she's gone. gone. Does he know his wife at all? I made it look like she died trying. Oh. I, I needed to stay to get her away. So if you do want to make your dream come true, kill me while we're nose to nose. Right up through the jaw. Stab her up through the neck. Rick, you that was a prime opportunity. Her. With a shit haircut. I'm going to choose not to take offence to that because like I said, I have a mohawk. Similar, but different. Rick has been in the depths of Stan walking dead Twitter, hasn't he? He's been reading what everybody's saying and he's like, ah, shit haircut, that's a good one. I'm going to use that next time I see her. Hey, Jadis. Your hair is fucked. And now she's not even trying to hide the fact she's a boss bitch. Come on, girl, you're supposed to be blending. She doesn't look like someone who relies on others for safety. Yeah, I know. I told her to fucking not be herself. She can't. It's the Michonne magic. She's just fucking amazing and it just oozes out her most just Michonne girl. Come on. They're heading to the right. We can talk. Okay, we're going back between the two trucks. She really said, you've got stupid helmet syndrome, but guess what? It is not terminal. I can rip that shit right off you. He is too stunned to speak. <laughs> the only way you get away is that someone is here making sure you need someone on the inside. You're not staying here, Rick. You. I said that if you love me, you'd go. And she's like, you thought that would work on me? Did you? Silly little bitch boy. Was he crying? Oh, he's crying. Oh, baby. I found something. An artist. Wait, that... Oh, my God, is this who drew the pictures? I always just assumed Rick drew them. There was a boy. He asked me to draw, but I could never get it right for him. Carl. Carl? Took three years before he'd say names. You're Michonne and the girl is Judith. I wasn't expecting a Carl mention, and that's after actually making my throat seize up a little bit. Now I'm looking for him. Oh, stop. She could probably describe RJ to him and get him to draw a picture of RJ, and that could be like, you know the way people do like pregnancy announcements or like gender reveals? She could do a son reveal to Rick. She could give him a little iPhone with a picture of a boy and be like, surprise. Wanna come home with me now? It's my family now. My only family. Is she trying to give Michonne like the talk like you hurt him i'll come after you talk honey you're you are completely barking up the wrong tree with this fucking speech let me just tell you you're talking to his wife mother of his child soul to his mate why did you save him because he's sexy i like his hair he's a fine ass great beard I can't imagine him ever being helpless. You need to get the box out of the walking dead, girlie, because he's but had he some low lows. Look for answers. You'll ask, what happened here? Oh, girl, you better and put your I hands off that weapon, right? Oh, he's getting ready to shoot her? Only one way to understand the whole picture. Would you take it? 
Is yes. she giving her a job offer or is she threatening to kill her? I am so confused. I would say. Yes. Yes. He's still there, gone half cocked. Like, am I murdering or am I not murdering today? Sergeant Major, you can return to the vehicle. Consigning with you. We just. Did we just get assigned to a job together? Are we gonna be co workers? So she truly doesn't know what Michonne is to him. Expanded the resources and Oh, that is beautiful. So there's all these little outposts all over the place. The objective is 200 plus incoming doubts moving towards the breach. Do we allow the plan to get set back? No, ma'am. One soldier takes the argument. Yeah, that stirred something inside her, green man. If I heard him say, no, ma'am, anywhere near me, I'd be like, we're going to need five to ten minutes alone. <laughs> Who has the ball, ma'am? Who has the ball, man? Bill? He's back at base. I don't know where this has come from, by the way, because I never really had the hots for Rick Grimes all that much. I mean, Andrew Lincoln is handsome. I always knew. But oh my God. In this show? Keep him up front. Get shit done. No. Sick of taking fucking orders. I'm going to push this wheelbarrow wherever the fuck I want to. Let's go. Jesus fucking Christ, I love them so much. I want to I want to crawl my fucking skin off and throw it on a wall to cool down. They're such a power couple. This is reminding me of the scene with the wire between the cars and the walking dead when they mowed down walkers. Here they are literally mowing down a walker with a... Dalek, <laughs> it looks like. She's like, I heard you moan like a little slut there, Rick. <laughs> Come on, babe, let's run away. Come on! Not like this. If she was up in my grill saying, come on, let's run away, let's do whatever. <laughs> if she said, let's cartwheel to the North Pole, I'd say, babe, I'm fucking ready. I hope you have a map. You better put that fucking gun down. I'm telling you what. What's her problem? She's just overcome with jealousy out in the fucking forest? About to kill Michonne for no goddamn reason. Thank God Rick has eyes in the back of his head. Put my neck out for her. For you. I'll give you a pass this time, Grimes, because you did help eliminate a couple of hundred doubts. You better understand. You better understand. I'd kill everyone and then myself to keep my wife safe. Just saying. Oh look, you I'm again. Straight home. You should come take a look at my quarters. Beautiful view of the Cascades. Okay, so she does have the hots for him. I mean, I don't blame her, but that was the joke going around the last few episodes. It's been going around since the up, up, up comment in the Walking Dead days. <laughs> All I can say is, look, I understand. Get the hell out of here. If I have to knock you out, I put you on that goddamn boat myself. I belong here, you don't, and you will never change that. One. If we're talking TKOs between the Grimes couple, Michonne has you beat, Rick. As far as I can remember, only one of you has knocked the other one out before. Two, is he trying the whole I'm going to break up with you approach? He tried the if you love me, you leave me approach. That didn't work. And now he's like, hmm, we're done. We're over. After you were moaning into her fucking ear out in the forest, you think she's going to believe it's over? Oh, baby. <laughs> Delusional. Oh, that's awkward. They have to sit facing each other after that conversation. I would throw myself out the fucking door. I don't know if we'll be back. <laughs> Did she just throw him out of the helicopter? I was joking. I was fucking joking. Oh my god. Anytime I say something and then people actually do it, I'm always so shocked that my dumbass would have an opinion that would be taken into consideration. She really fucking said, Rick, you are acting out a bit too much, okay? You think you are a little bit unhinged because you cut your hand off to try and get back to me? Hold on. Hold on, darling. We're about to go for a flight together. Are they over water? What are they even over? Is she, does she even have a parachute? She grabbed a fistful of his curls, threw open the door and vroom! <laughs> what, hope for the best? If there's one thing I appreciate about them, it's I never know what they're going to do next. I never know what their next move is. I just don't know. They are unhinged. This episode was an absolute emotional roller coaster. <laughs> this actually might have been my favourite one yet. Getting to see the growing pains between the two of them. Trying to fit in. Trying to trying to be secret together. Ending with, just fuck this. Let's go for a fucking soar. 
You know what I mean? She's like, remember that time we watched High School Musical together, Rick? And we were singing Soarin' Flying together. For all time's sake. Come on. I love this show. This is just, oh my God. <laughs> that is it for this week's reaction, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, as always, the more extended version of this reaction is going up over on Patreon. Uh, I'll be, I'll definitely be posting a chat video about this. Oh my God, I have so much to say about this. I can't wait to watch it again. Oh, I'll be posting a chat video all about breaking this episode down, giving thoughts and opinions and stuff. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you all soon.